Hi, my name is Ivan. I'm the creator of Galen Framework. And in this video, I would like to show you how to inject a custom JavaScript in a browser before checking the layout. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to use uh, Galen test suites. In this case, we will just use the same code. And before checking the layout, we'll perform some actions on the page. Um, we'll use the same test we'll use the same test app uh, and in this case we can do something like maybe just removing a login button or something else it's not that really useful uh, normally you use these uh, use this inject JavaScript injection tricks in order to open up some menu or to show a pop-up or close a pop-up for instance on some websites you have this annoying cookie pop-ups and that uh, tells you to accept a cookie so you can for instance use a JavaScript to close it uh, so you can proceed uh, testing the layout of the website without those annoying pop-ups. Uh, on my test app I don't have these things, so what I can do is just simply uh, remove this login button. So first of all, let's try to do this in, uh, using developer tools. Uh, so we can inspect the element, uh, and we can identify it by button login class. So let's go to console. And in this test uh, website, I'm using a jQuery. So it means that I can actually use the jQuery in my JavaScript. So here's what I can do. Remove. So now let's check it. It works. So it removes the button from the website. Uh, let's copy this JavaScript code. And let's put it in our tests. First of all, let's get back to our tutorial code. Uh, as you can see, we have the homepage.gspec in my test. Let's create remove login button GS file and paste the JavaScript code. So now let's do it like this. Before checking the uh, layout on the home page, we need to inject this JavaScript code in on the page. And the way to do it is like this. Let's go to the documentation and here it is, JavaScript injection. Just simply use the inject command and pass the name uh, to pass, pass, and pass the path to your JavaScript file. So let's type it inject remove login button GS. That's it. So because in the previous video we were looking at how to parameterize your tests to run different uh, browser sizes to check different layouts. And we have in this code uh, actually two um, parameterizations. So in, our, in this case the test will run twice. Uh, for this tutorial I don't want that. So I'm going to run only a single test and this is how I can do it. Given test my dot test. I'm gonna use a filter com filter argument, and I will pass this filter. So it's a simple regular expression. It's finished. As you can see, it ran only one test. That's because my filter works, and this is quite handy. If you have a lot of tests and you only need to check a single test, you can use that filter. Let's check the reports. As you can see on the screenshot, there is no login button. So our JavaScript worked. And you can also see that in here. It, Galen also reports all the actions. So can see inject action here and the check action after it. So that's it. It's really easy and if you want to and if you have to do some preparations on your websites, just try to use this inject uh, action and maybe it will help you. Thanks for watching.